Ready for the breakout rooms or you need more time? Ready? Okay, Oscar is ready. And the rest of you? More time. Okay, I'll give you two more minutes. Okay, I'm going to create the breakout rooms. Remember that we're going to be asking and answering these questions. Todos en los grupos tienen que um, preguntar y responder, preguntar y responder, tomar turnos. Ustedes decidirán cuál va a ser la dinámica. La idea es practicar. Uh, we know that es, es difícil con lo de los años. A veces eh, cuesta un poquito, pero pues lo vamos a hacer en grupo y nos vamos a ayudar. Let me create the rooms. I just have 14. Few people. Oh, it's done. Ready. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Oh. Eh. Empezamos. Empieza. Let's go. Okay. Right. Eh. Christian, I need. Yo, ¿Yo con quién? Conmigo. Ok, este... Vaya. Aquí sería de que uno pregunte y el otro conteste. Ajá, sí, sí. Va, si quiere empiezo preguntando yo. Ok. <ríe> ok, dice. Eh, when were you born? 1980. I was born. I was born 1980. I was born on mes, fecha, año. Ah, yo pensé que solo era el año. 
Bueno, es... Bueno, eh, yo, la verdad que yo entre clase, entre tarde a la clase, pero... Yes, okay. Uh -huh. The idea is like, for example, if someone asks you, when were you born? Si le preguntan cuándo naciste, when were you born? La idea es que usted conteste eh, completo. I was born okay. in 1981, for example. Mm -hmm. Eh, pueden, eh, por ejemplo, que Bridget le pregunta a Cristian, Cristian le pregunta a Byron, como sea, para que todos estén participando en un tiempo corto, pues no, porque si yo me hago las seis preguntas a, a Cristian y que después Cristian me pregunte las seis a mí, a todo esto se nos duermen los demás del grupo, ¿verdad? Pero ustedes decidirán la dinámica. Ok. Empecemos a trabajar. Y... Así como hace la teacher, o sea, el que, el que pregunta y el que responde le va a hacer la pregunta al siguiente. Okay. Va, si quieren, numerémonos para que sea fácil, para no estarnos preguntando quién a quién. Vaya, ahorita Cristian iba a preguntar, vea. Sí. Yeah. Cristian número uno, Bridget número dos, eh, Byron número tres, Henry número cuatro y yo número cinco. El uno le pregunta al dos, el dos al tres, el tres al cuatro, el cuatro al cinco y así nos vamos... Turnando. Turnando. Uh -huh. Ok. Entonces, empezamos. Bridget, uh, when were you born? I was born 1980. Ok, hoy y... usted le pregunta. Perdón, yo pienso que ahí eh, debería de ser. I was born in eh, April 3, 19. Ah. Okay. Entonces, I was, I was born in June, June, June eh, eh, el día, en la, fe, en la fecha, el día. 23, 23, 1908. Ok. When was your father born? Eh, Byron es el tercero, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. When was your father born? Father was eh, born five seventh. It's okay, así. Sí está bien. El, el mes y el día de de, de su nacimiento. Completo. Yeah, so you can say I was born on um, y puede decir el mes, la fecha y el año. I was born on March 3rd, 2000 I don't know, 2001. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, my father was born on July 3 mm -hmm. Milton five seventh. Nineteen fifty seven. Nineteen fifty seven. Okay. Yes. Uh, pregunto. Sí. Uh, okay, Laura. Uh, when was your mother born? She was born. A ver, when was your she was born in September 10 in 1952. Ahora, Henry, when did you turn 13? I, 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 I was born eh, Ahí lo que le pregunto es que cuando eh, Tenías 13 años Cuando cumpliste 13, ajá Correcto Pero ahí no se usa el was No, eh, sería eh, I thought I, I, I thought I thought Correcto. I yes, turned, it would be I turned and I turned, uh -huh. I turned, I turned 13 
In. In. Y ahí dice el año. El año. Uh -huh. Sí, a 60. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Eh, ¿Cuál sería? Eh, mil, eh, Ajá. 2022. No, perdón, perdón. <risa> perdón. <risa> eh, yo, tengo, yo tengo ahorita 30, 30 años. Ya en se quitó un par. 2000, 2007. 2007. 2007. Ah, sería en 2007. 2007. 2007. Ok. Ahora Henry pregunta a Christian. Uh, where did you start high school? I was, I was start high school. Uh, I started, no puede decir was, y start. Started. Uh -huh. I started okay. high school. Uh -huh. okay. uh, I was started high school. No, sin, uh, sin was. Sin was. Sí. Porque el verbo está en pasado. I started. Start. Uh -huh. start. I started high school uh, February, on February. Uh, 2013. Okay, yo creo que aquí lo que tenemos que, eh, que okay. considerar. 2013 sería. Sería. Podría ser. Two, 20. Porque podemos separarlo. Vea. 2013 o 2013. And 13. Uh -huh. Yo creo que lo que sí. tenemos que considerar es que, que en las preguntas utilizamos con el was y el where si es el Six. When did you begin to study English? Siempre sería el año. Sí, dice ja cuando usted sí. comenzó a estudiar inglés. Uh, I study English um, to I study began, I began to study English. I began to study English 2022. In You can continue. Or... Eso lo faltaría, Jan. Janet.
Okay, I heard some of you practicing, but what are your opinions? How do you feel this exercise? Was it easy? Easy. Entertaining, difficult. How did you feel this exercise? For me, difficult. Yes, okay. We need to practice more speaking. I know that this is um, uh, something that we're not used to do. We uh, we usually practice the, the things that are just required to repeat, like conversations and so on. But yes, we need to practice and produce. Eh, porque estamos haciendo, estamos produciendo nuestras propias respuestas. No es algo que se nos dé a repetir como una conversación, etc. Al principio puede ser difícil, pero pues eh, ya tenemos que ir haciendo más ejercicios como estos. Porque ya van a preintermedio, ¿verdad? That's nice. So we need to practice more speaking. Um, let's see. Uh, we're going to, ya las practicamos en los grupos pequeños, ahora las vamos a practicar aquí en la sección principal. And I would like to start, uh, let's listen to, let me choose uh, someone from here. Um, let's see, Janet, when were you born, Janet? I was born in June 7, um, 18, no, 1986. 1986. Very good, Janet. Thank you so much. Can you ask another question to another classmate? It can be any question, not necessary or uh, go in this order, one, two, three, four. You can ask any of them. Okay to Fatima okay. when when do you when did you start high school I started high school in the high school es como decir la universidad no, high school es como lo que sería bachillerato. Ok, gracias. I study high school in, in Framen. Um, when? Uh, I think it's when. Mm -hmm. When, in what year? Oh, ok. I study in 2000. In 2000, okay, thank you so much. Can you ask another question to another classmate? Uh, a Brigitte. Okay, what Wait. is the question for Brigitte? When was your mother born? Uh, she was born is the, the December. Um, Excellent. Thank you so much, Bridget. Continue. Oscar, who was your father born? I'm not sure, but my father was born in 1953. 1953, okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, good job. Thank you so much. Well, we have another exercise. Ya este veo que ya bastante eh, agarraron este que acabamos de hacer, en el que estábamos produciendo nuestras propias respuestas. Y en este, pues vamos a hacer lo que nos dice la indicación. Siempre trabajando en grupos, write the sentences below in the past simple. Acuérdense que la idea es pasado simple. Ok, entonces vamos a trasladar lo que tenemos aquí, sean preguntas o, o sean oraciones, las vamos a trasladar a pasado simple. 
Por ejemplo, ven la 1, dice, he goes to bed early. Ahí está en presente. Es una oración afirmativa. Entonces, es básicamente lo mismo, solo que el verbo goes lo voy a pasar a pasado. El pasado de go es went. Es un irregular. Entonces, pongo, he went to bed early. Ahora tenemos la número 2. Dice, we don't like onions. En pasado, sabemos que sería el auxiliar didn't. Ok, no don't, but didn't. We didn't like onions. And now, oh, ok, se me quedó otro. <laughs> Just two more. Ok, number three. Veamos, number three. Es una oración afirmativa. Dice, Stuart lives in Vancouver. ¿Cómo me quedaría esa si la paso a pasado? Stuart lived. Living. Lived. lived. Excellent. Lived. Ajá. Uh -huh. So tengo que quitar esa S y agregar la D. Stuart lived in Vancouver. Y así van a ir discutiendo cómo nos van a quedar las demás. Serían 17 porque ya hicimos las primeras tres. Y para que sea más interactivo lo vamos a discutir en grupo. Esto pues se las mandé antes de la clase. Así es que ya la tienen eh, disponible esta presentación. That's two exercises. Mm. The the she. The she exercise. No, no es. Um, do is the she ¿Cuál? Perdón. Eh, no es dos D. Dos D. Chi. El sorce. No, porque yo creo que se Tiene cambia el dos. Uh -huh. Exacto. Ajá. Das es para presente. Para oh, pasado sí. sería did. De ahí todo, did. todo tendría igual. Did she exercise? Did. That's okay. correct. Okay. Number five. La otra es una oración, esa es una afirmación. I hate it. I hate it. Cooking. Okay. Solo, solo la deje y le agrego. Uh -huh. Así que, I hate it. I hate it. Cooking. 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 Okay. Okay. Mm, no, porque no, acuérdense, no es el que, mismo. acuérdense que las estamos pasando a pasado simple. Eh, 
cooking. No, el no. verbo hate no se, se puede mantiene. hacer con ing. Mm -hmm. Se mantiene, ajá, mm -hmm. se tiene. No. Ok. Vaya, lo que les había dicho, cuando tenemos dos verbos en un tiempo simple, eh, por ejemplo, aquí tengo que tengo el verbo hate y tengo cook. ¿Qué se hace para separar los verbos? Solo se pasa uno. Ajá, uno, se, uno quedaría en pasado, que sería el primero. I hated, solo le agregamos la de ahí. Y como es pasado simple, no puedo dejar cooking. ¿Cómo, cómo me queda? Cool. I hated cook, pero todavía me falta algo. I hated cook, pero falta algo porque tengo igual los dos verbos juntos. To cook. Excelente. To cook. To cook. Uh -huh. I hated to cook. Ok. Muy bien. Number six. They play video games. No. Eh, ah, sí, 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 perdón. They play video games. Play. Juegan video games. Ok. Video games. Uh -huh. La otra es. He knows. The answer. ¿Cómo eh, iría escrito? No. No me acuerdo. Quiero ver. Ese era. Irregular. Es irregular. No se le agrega ed, sino que es irregular. Ese era. K N E W. Ajá. New. Ajá. K N E W. He knew the answer. Excellent. He knew the answer. Teacher, okay. para saber cuáles son los irregulares, necesariamente hay que aprendérselos de memoria o hay una forma para. No. Solo aprenderlos. Only memorize them. Ok. Mm -hmm. Es difícil. Yes, it's practice. Right. Pero así como están practicando ahorita, que están como haciendo ese esfuerzo, es como un esfuerzo mental, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, ahorita ya sabemos que el pasado de no is new. Entonces, um, podemos hacer... Um, Oraciones con este, como para que se nos vayan quedando. Por ejemplo, ah, sabía que iba a llover. I knew it was going to rain. O sabría que vendrías. I knew you would come. Y así. Es okay. práctica. Con la práctica, esos verbos se van quedando, se van memorizando. Eh, prácticas como estas nos van ayudando. El siguiente también okay. es irregular. <laughs> sí, I forgot. Oh. Excellent. I forgot his name. The next, they don't study story. They didn't. They didn't study story. They didn't study history, creo que es. They That's didn't correct. study history. history. Do they, do they drive? ¿Qué opinan? Do they drive? Do they drive? Do they drive? Do they drive? Yes. Do they drive? Next. Jenny works at, at a hotel. Works era irregular, ¿no? No, ese es regular. Worker. 
símbolo del water. Uh -huh. Work it. sí. Sí, work it era ese. Ese sí es regular. Entonces sería Jenny work at a hotel. Solo se le quita la S y se le agrega la D. La D, correcto. Next. Do you do you swim? swim? Did you did you swim? Did you swim? Did you swim? We, Next, we didn't like. We don't like the movie. We didn't like the movie. We didn't like the movie. Where did you live? Where did you live? Uh -huh. mm. Well, yeah. mm -hmm. where did you live? Mm -hmm. Live a verbo, no. No. Perdón. Live. Live no live. verbo. No. Live a verbo. Yes, it is. Pero sí estaría bien. Where did you live? Ajá. Ahí no sería tu live. No. No, no porque no tenemos otro verbo. Where did you live? Porque el do está como auxiliar en este caso, no como verbo. Sí, sí. Siguiente. He doesn't drink tea. Okay. He didn't. He didn't drink tea. Uh -huh. He didn't drink tea. They start drink class tea. at eight o'clock. They started. Okay. They start class at eight o'clock. Does he eat breakfast? That did he? Did he? Uh -huh. Y todo lo demás sería. Did he eat? Did he eat breakfast? Mm -hmm. Eat Siguiente. Vamos a ver. Este es, I don't run fast. I didn't. I didn't run fast. I didn't run fast. Este el wrong. Este es, es irregular, que en este caso, como utilizamos el didn't, quedaría como wrong. Uh -huh. Pero el verbo uh -huh. es irregular. Si lo tuviéramos en afirmativo, sería I run. Uh -huh. Si fuese afirmativo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sería I run, I run, 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 que es R-A-L, pero I run creo que se dice. Uh -huh. I, I ran fast, si fuese, pues, si fuese oración afirmativa. En este caso, sí, ¿verdad? I didn't run fast. Yes. Ahora, he has a car. Ya casi terminamos. Ese sería el pasado de has, es had. Ah, ok. He had. H-A-D. Ajá, had. Ajá, he had a car. Do you enjoy... Sports, do, do you enjoy did, sports? Did, 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 did you, you enjoy sports? Do you enjoy sports? We finish. Okay.
teacher. Yes. I like your earrings. Oh, my earrings? Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Someone gave them to me. It's not my style, but I tried and I like them. <laughs> Yeah, it was a gift. Any more? <laughs> no, I tried them. I, I throw them like I put it in my parents. Oh, thank you. And I put them and one day I said, oh, I'm going to try them. And I like them. <laughs> I look like so cute. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see if everybody's back again. Yes. And how was the exercise? Very interesting. Interesting. Why? Because 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 it's the mix the the different the different verbs. Yeah, verbs. As well, there is a, there there is irregular verbs. Mm -hmm. The irregular verbs. Yeah. Yes. That's interesting because I think that is the most difficult part um, of this exercise is because uh, irregular verbs, we are learning them. And the best way to learn them is by practicing. That's going to help you to memorize them. That is the only thing that we can do with that kind of verbs is to practice and memorize. There's no way, it's not another way because uh, they don't follow our rule. So that's why they, it makes it more difficult, but not impossible. Okay, so I'm sharing here the exercise. So we can check together. We did the number one, two, and three. Uh, volunteer for number four. Did she exercise? She did she. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Did, did she exercise? And we we didn't have to modify the verb here. Did she exercise? Okay, now number five. I think that was a little bit difficult, but what do you have? Volunteer? I hate to cook. I hated to cook. Hated cook. Aha, uh -huh. I hated to cook. Because it is simple past, tenía que ser pasado simple. Uh -huh. Entonces, no podía poner los dos en pasado simple y tampoco podía dejar un en ing el, el, el que teníamos ahí. O podría ser si sí, I hated cooking también. Oh, I hate it to cook. Either or, but not together like that. Uh, number six. They played video games. Aha, uh -huh. they played video games. We needed to modify played. Uh, and that one is regular, the easier one. Number seven. That was tough one. He knew the answer. Aha, uh -huh. he knew the answer. That's irregular. Very good. Another irregular in number eight. What do you have? I forgot. It. Yes, I forgot his name. Very good. Now number nine, volunteer. What do you have? They didn't study history. They didn't study history. Excellent. Uh, number 10. Did they drive? Did they drive? Excellent. Did they drive? Number 11. Jenny worker at a hotel. Aha, uh -huh, excellent. With Edie worked at a, hot, a hotel. Yes, excellent. Uh, 12. Did you, Did you swim? Very good. 
Number 13. We didn't like the movie. Mm -hmm. We didn't like the movie. Excellent. Uh, 14. Where do you live? Where did you live? Uh -huh, when it did. Excellent. Number 15. He didn't drink tea. Excellent. He didn't drink tea. Uh, 16. They started class at 8 o'clock. They started class at 8 o'clock. Excellent. Uh, 17. Seventeen. Did he eat breakfast? Excellent. That's the answer. Eighteen. I didn't run fast. Mm -hmm. I didn't run fast. Uh, Nineteen. He had. Uh -huh. He had a card, another irregular, right? H-A-D, had. He had a card. And the last one, number 20. Did, Did you, enjoy? you enjoy sports? Did you enjoy sports? That was kind of easy. Now, then the next part, we have this exercise, which is in the platform. And uh, it's the word power school day. It's pretty much vocabulary that we can use when we are talking about past school days, for example. Let's repeat the vocabulary that we have there. Cafeteria. Classroom. Classroom. College. College. Computer lab. Elementary school. Elementary. High, school. high school. History. History. Junior, high school. Junior high school. Library. Library. Math. Physical education. Physical education. Science. In this exercise, we needed to classify them into these categories, classes, schools, and uh, uh, places. For example, what would you write here in classes? Math, math, science. Ma uh -huh. Math, science, history, history. 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 physical education. Physical Science. education. Computer okay. lab. Um, that would be in places. places. Uh huh. History. History. Uh, history. Uh huh. Now in the school, what would you write in schools? In school. Classroom. Elementary school. Elementary Computer school. Lab. High school. High school. Junior high school. Junior high school. Uh-huh. Very good. Now, in places. Library. Library. Mm -hmm. Cafeteria. Cafeteria. It's there. Uh-huh. Classroom. Classroom. Computer lab. Computer lab. Uh-huh. That would be in uh, places. So um, the next exercise that we could do is the pay work that we have done and ask and answer these questions that we have there to just to remember about the school days. Uh, what was your favorite class and why? Let's see. Um, um, Oscar, what was your favorite class and why? If I remember my favorite class, it was education physical. <laughs> oh, physical education. Okay, your favorite class was physical education. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, really? 
My favorite I thought... class. My favorite class, I remember it was. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Teacher. No, no, none. <laughs> none. Okay. Uh, you can ask another question to another classmate from part B. Oh, the same, the same question. Or a different, the, the ones that we have here. Oh. Cualquiera de estas que tenemos acá abajito. Oh, let's see. Who was your best friend? Uh, Byron Cortez. Hello. Who was, who was your best friend? Uh, my best friend, her name is... <laughs> Carlos. His name? His, His name, name is... was Carlos. It's Carlos. Oh, he was your Where's best it? friend at school. Why? Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, Byron, you can ask another question. Okay. And um, Brigitte, uh, what was your favorite class and why? My favorite class is Mathematica. Okay, so your favorite class was Math. Because uh, I like the numbers. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Do you like numbers? Nice, Bridget. Uh, can you ask a next question to another classmate? Laura. Who was your favorite teacher? Why? Uh-huh. Who was your favorite teacher and why? My favorite teacher. Uh, is my Flor Guerrero. Ah, oh. <laughs> uh, the easy way. <laughs> Así como que la, la salida fácil ahorita. I remember my favorite teacher was uh, Mrs. Erla. She was so sweet and patient. <laughs> Everybody has a favorite teacher, right? Um, um, those are nice, cool days, nice memories. And well, we have to stop here. We are done with this and I hope that you have enjoyed and uh, I hope to see you soon and that you continue studying and congratulations, you finished your module. And remember that if you have pending exercise, uh, please try to do it today because today is the last day to finish the platform and the minimum required is the 80%. Mm -hmm. I appreciate the time that you have taken to teach us. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to me. Thank you, teacher. You're more than welcome. So continue practicing and being awesome. See you around. Muchas gracias por todo. Thank you very much. No worries. You will. You will. <laughs> Thank you. Nice Enjoy. to meet you. Nice meeting uh, you too. Nice to meet you, teacher. Nice meeting you too. Says you. Here. Bye. Take care. It was a pleasure to be with you. Thank you. Do the Bye. same. Bye.